Welcome to part 7 of my Gatton CNC router build series. Now in this episode, we're going to assemble, then install the x-axis plates and prepare them to mount the Z-Box. Okay, getting ready to drill through the edge of these here so that I can run machine screw through this end up in here to adjust my bearings. Now I've got to do two here and then three more along here. And what I'm doing right now is I'm transferring the center over here to this end then I'll stand it up and transfer those marks over to the edge so I can get a good center on these on these uh, slots here. Now I can stand this up and transfer these marks to this edge here. Now I can take my calipers, which I have set to the center of the uh, thickness, and I can just scribe a small line right there, right there on that same mark. And come back with my awl with the piece that I'm drilling clamped into the sawhorse. I can drill these edge holes now. I'm going to start with a 16th inch bit and work my way up uh, to 3 16 then quarter inch, then 17 64 Now I can put my weld nuts in the slots and my machine screws through the weld nuts and that'll adjust those bearings just fine. And just to show you what I'm talking about, there goes a weld tab and oh, it's starting to rain. A quarter 20 machine screw. Okay, when we look at the x-axis plates first thing that should kind of pop out at you is the washer stack up and the bearing arrangement number one thing <laughs> um, don't learn this the way I did the number one thing is to make sure the bolt heads face inwards towards the gantry front and rear panels if you, you'll notice I've got them all the same way here the nuts are facing the outside and the reason for that is one word, clearance. If you spin them around to where you have the bolt hanging towards the gantry, you're going to smack an upright, you're going to smack a, uh, uh, you may rub against the front of the gantry panel. So that's the main thing to remember is put all the bolt heads towards the gantry panel and uh, not the uh, nut now, also, the main difference on the washer stack up here is using two flat washers under the bearing, the adjustable bearing and the fixed bearing for, that rides along the linear rails. And that's done simply to space the front plate out away from the gantry. And again, I'm using the hex head bolts here just simply because when you get this panel put on the linear rails on the gantry, you have no room to get in there with a screwdriver to tighten these up or adjust them. But you can get in there with a wrench, especially if you have these spaced out correctly. So uh, with that in mind, now that I have these assembled, we'll go ahead and get them put on the front and rear of the uh, gantry and uh, carry on. Now when it comes time to mount the x-axis lead nut carrier, 
Um, I've got this little goodie right here. Now, this is an alignment tool that was designed and 3D printed by Andrew Haig over at the Old English Workshop. Now, Andrew doesn't make these to sell, but he did put the plans, all the files for this over on Thingiverse. And I'll go, I'll put a link in the description to that page with these files on it. Now, if you have a 3D printer, this will really help you out as far as aligning this bearing plate, or excuse me, this lead nut block to the upright. Now, strictly speaking, they're not 100% necessary. If you go to Dave's website and look at the uh, Build a Gat and CNC page, I'll put another link in the description box below here. Uh, in episode 8 in Building a Gat and CNC, Dave discusses how to align this with your uh, x-axis plates and the gantry upright without the use of a little jig like this. But Andrew was uh, nice enough to send this to me, so I'm going to put it to use. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer, um, something else that Andrew turned me on to is a website called 3dhubs.com. And that's basically an informal registry of folks who have 3D printers and will gladly print up whatever you'd like. Uh, some charge a fee, some don't, some want something in trade, some do it just for the fun. But um, it's some place where you can go if you have the files, you can get something 3D printed if you don't have one. But again, some people might think this is overkill. And maybe it is, I don't know. But if you're like me and your eyes just aren't what they used to be, having something like this to help you get everything in alignment the first time uh, really comes in handy. And simply put, the way it works is you have this end of the jig and you have this square portion down here. The round portion goes into that bearing. The square portion, or that bearing hole, excuse me, square portion fits down into that pocket and now all that's left to do is to take this up, align this portion here with the hole in the upright for the stepper motor, and we're ready to go. With the top block screwed into place, now I can focus on this bottom block. And here, I can just simply get a hard, take a hard measurement, mark this, take it outside, sneak up on that measurement, keep trying it until I've got it right. And this is how you know you got the measurement right. It slips right up into position and is just snug enough to stay there without pushing these the front and rear plate apart. So, let me get it into position. Drill my pilot holes and get it put into place. This little puppy works really well. Thank you, Andrew. I do appreciate it. So with the X-axis plates installed, we're now ready to move on to assembling and installing the Z-Box. But that's for the next video. So if you got anything at all out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button down there. If you'd like to follow along with the entire Gatton CNC build, consider subscribing to my channel. Now, I've put a link in the description box below to the playlist 
that contains all of the episodes of this build series so far. I've also put a link in the description box to Dave Gatton's webpage where you can get more information on a Gatton CNC kit of your own. Now whether you subscribe to my channel or not, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and y'all take care.